Hey kids! Welcome to Fun Learning. In this video we will be learning about Volume Measuring Volume Prism Types of Prism And some practical exercises Introduction to Geometry Geometry is the branch of mathematics. It is the study about lines, angles, shapes, and space. We study shapes in both two dimensions, 2D, and three dimensions, 3D. 2D shapes have length and width, like a square. 3D shapes have length, width, and height, like a cube. First we will start with volume. Welcome to the topic volume. When you buy a bottle of soft drink or flavored milk you buy it by volume the amount inside the bottle. Volume is the amount of space an object occupies. A way to visualize volume is to think about how much water would fit inside the object. Denote with V. The volume of a three-dimensional figure is the amount that fills the figure. The volume is given in cubic units. The volume of a solid is the amount of space inside it. Consider this rectangular prism. If we were to fill the prism with water, the volume would be the amount of water it could hold. Measuring volume. Units for measuring volume in the building industry volume is measured using cubic meters for solid objects. Volume is measured in cubic centimeters, also called centimeters cubed. Here is a cubic centimeter. It is a cube which measures one centimeter in all directions. Once we know the area of the base, this is then multiplied by the height to determine the volume of the prism. We find that volume equals area of base multiply height. Volume equals length multiply width multiply height. Pro tip don't just multiply all the numbers together. Find the area of the base and multiply by the height. This will make finding the volume of other prisms much easier if you learn this way. Where there is matter, there is geometry. Said by Johannes Kepler. Now we have prism. A prism is a solid object with identical ends, flat faces, and the same cross section all along its length. A prism is a three-dimensional shape with two identical shapes facing each other. These identical shapes are called bases. The bases can be a triangle, square, rectangle or any other polygon. Other faces of a prism are parallelograms or rectangles. The ends of a prism are parallel and each one is called a base. The cross-section of a geometric shape or an object is the shape obtained by cutting it straight. It is also referred to as the intersection of a plane with the three-dimensional object. The cross-section of a prism parallel to the base of the prism is same as its base. A cross-section is the shape made by cutting straight across an object. The cross-section of this object is a triangle. It has the same cross-section all along its length. It's a triangular prism. A cross-section is the shape made by cutting straight across an object. The cross-section of this object is a rectangle. It's a rectangular prism. A prism is a polyhedron, which means all faces are flat. No curved sides. For example, a cylinder is not a prism, because it has curved sides. Prism sides. The side faces of a prism are parallelograms four-sided shapes with opposite sides parallel. Different types of prism. There are different types of prism but in this video we will focus on. Triangular prism has triangular bases. Rectangular prism has rectangular bases. It's time to find out how to measure the volume of a rectangular prism. To find the volume of a rectangular prism we multiply the base and the height or length multiply by width multiply height. Let's find the volume of this prism. Here the length is 5 cm width is 4 cm and height is 7 cm. And the volume is 140 cm cubed. A rectangular prism is a solid figure that has six faces that are all rectangles. Opposite faces are congruent and parallel. A cube is a solid figure that has six faces that are all squares. All faces are congruent and parallel. This shape is classified as a rectangular prism because all squares are technically rectangles. Let's sum up as this is the end of the section on rectangular prisms. Key points to remember are The formula for volume is Volume equals area by height volume of a rectangular prism is calculated using the formula, volume equals length by width by height. Triangular, based prism. A triangle-based pyramid has four triangular sides. 
The base can be any shape or size of triangle but usually it is an equilateral triangle, all sides are the same. Do you know how to calculate the volume of triangular prisms? Let's find how to calculate the volume of triangular based prism. Remember the formula for calculating volume is volume equals area by height V equals or half multiply by base multiply by width multiply by height. Here we have multiply half by 6 by 4 by 10 and we the volume of a triangular prism. That is 120 cm cube. Let's sum up the section on triangular prisms. Key points to remember are, in geometry, a triangular prism is a three-sided prism. It is a polyhedron made of a triangular base. All cross sections parallel to the base faces are the same triangle. Key points to remember are, key points to remember are, Calculate volume of triangular prism using the formula. Volume equals half of base by altitude by height. It's an anagram. Let's rearranging the letters and find the correct word. 3D shape. The second is height. Guess the third. Correct. It's width. The fourth is any guess. Length. Wow. You are doing good so far. Length. Let's decode the fifth one. And it's volume. Length. And the last one is, think, prism, good job, it's practice time. As we know how to find the volume of different prism, we will assess our learning by measuring the volume of different prisms. Calculate the volume of the prism 14 by 5 by 7 is equal to 490 centimeter cube. Here is the second practice problem to find the volume of rectangular prism we will multiply length width and height and the answer will be 1728 centimeter cube. It's your turn it's your knowledge check to see whether you can calculate the volume of these prisms. Thumbs up if you calculate the volume of these prisms correctly. When you start looking, prisms are all around you. Volume is very important if you design anything. Let's do this. Identify prism or not. Did you identify the prism or not? Previous knowledge check to see whether you can calculate the volume of these prisms. Will you? Let's see. Well done. You were able to calculate the volume of these prisms. Well it's time to check your success. I can calculate the volume of a rectangle based prism, cuboid. I can calculate the volume of a triangle based prism. I can identify the types of prism. Effort this lesson by giving yourself stars. Hey, wait. There are some words that we have learned today. Do you want to know them? Hear the air. Volume. Base. Cube. Prism. Do you know? What helps you make your point clear? Well it's practical exercises. The more you practice the better your understanding is. This is all for today enjoy calculating volume. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more interesting videos.